Now let's play a nice wholesome game of eels and escalators. Oh boy, my favorite! For 20 years, fans watched this classic Spongebob clip and had a simple thought. Man, I wish I could actually play that. And now, the dream has become reality. Anyone who's watched Spongebob is well aware of eels and escalators. Appearing in the incredible episode Sailor Mouth, which Nickelodeon wouldn't allow today, Spongebob and Patrick learn swear words and start yelling them to everyone in Bikini Bottom. At one point, they're told that they should restrict themselves from swearing. That story path eventually dives right into Eels and Escalators, a fun board game where dice are rolled and players move their character through eels and escalators. I don't need to explain this. Now it wasn't a major portion of the episode, it only lasted a few minutes, and yet, its legacy has only grown stronger. While Nickelodeon published a variety of Spongebob tabletop games over the years, there was a certain one featuring eels and escalators that never happened. Fans took matters into their own hands, whether that be recreating it in real life or turning it into a mod on Tabletop Simulator. But finally, after two decades, the game is real. Word began to spread on TikTok when fans started finding eels and escalators in Hot Topic. This is officially licensed, it's just being sold exclusively at Hot Topic. Taking a look at their website, you'll notice that, yeah, this is the same board game from our childhoods. It's been 3,000 years. On the cover of the box, SpongeBob and Patrick are happily playing, which is strange. Something tells me they wouldn't really be smiling. <laughs> Gary, Sandy, and Squidward join the party from the background, which is weird because Sandy didn't even appear in the original episode. Where's Mr. Krabs? Oh well. What matters here is that Eels and Escalators has finally made its jump into real life. On the top right corner, we learn that it takes around 30 to 60 minutes, meaning it's slightly more than a casual board game sitting. It supports 2 to 6 players, and is for anyone over the age of 8. Now Hot Topic has another picture listed, showing us everything that makes up Eels and Escalators. Because this was a small thing made for the episode, it obviously wasn't designed to be a genuine, playable experience by real people. SpongeBob and Patrick didn't exactly have a normal time while playing. Because wacky cartoon hijinks can't translate into real life, you'll notice some changes. What stands out most to me are these cards that seemingly add new mechanics. I just really like all of this. Gary needs a new pair of shoes! Win a pair for Gary and all of Spongebob's friends in Eels and Escalators. Roll the dice and move across the board. Ride up the escalators to victory. Just don't slide down too many eels because you might lose, causing you to shout that number 11 swear word. This wholesome board game can be as frustrating as it is fun, but classy sophisticates like you shouldn't stain your lips with cursing. Now which one of you has a sailor mouth? Hey, The game is clearly designed for original Spongebob fans, and it's kind of everything I've been waiting for. Because it's sold out right now, I haven't been able to get my hands on a copy, but there's some good news. Hot Topic is gonna be getting more in stock. Move aside, Monopoly! We have a new way to lose friends. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and comment below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.